Hi everyone, I want to, to bring you the, the dog shit deck I'm playing. Uh, since I don't enjoy the format, I decided that nobody will enjoy the format, so I'm playing uh, Tempo Dragons. Uh, I won the last two locos with it, uh, undefeated, like, like deck is dumb, for, dumb, dumb strong. Uh, I played uh, the standard names, uh, I think the red is better than white, but this is like, you, you need to do this when they send you first. Uh, Chu and Phydra. Free Kaiman, free summoning and terraforming. Like this is like so standard. Then for consistency I play five pots. Uh, I chose to play five over six just because mathematically you're always gonna see one. Like most likely I never see double. And and it's terrible if you open this into this of course. So it, it was fine. I never missed. Like I, w I was always consistent. I never. I think only one game I passed on five end traps, and it was fine. So yeah. As I already mentioned, uh, this is twenty non engine, and mostly are end traps. So the sisters. I play this nine. Uh, I play ogre over Nibiru because I believe Nibiru is not as good. Uh, it's a lot better when it's the third interruption against Snake Eye and I rather throw my low, low impact ones like uh, before than letting them commit into a board because my deck benefits a lot from them passing and try to gamble on the fact that they are passing on like one body uh, so for the other ones a three veiler and a three imperm are like the better ones of course and then for the five world breakers I choose to play are Two Lightning Storm because it's uh, very versatile against every deck. It's pretty good. It's Imperm set. Uh, sometimes if you don't see summoning, it, Imperm can make you pass turn. And uh, free Santa Claus. So I chose to play this over Droplet because um, Fuchu is more popular than Nightingale, and I feel like the only loose condition I have that I cannot resolve uh, outside of deck building is literally Snake Eye making Fuchu. So I, I decided to play this, it's also really good against Purely uh, and I was happy about it because sometimes on weird ends where they need to use the main phase to puppet lock you, uh, this just means you win the game. So yeah, for the Carmen deck. Extra deck uh, is a uh, Chu Biden, one transcend. This card is fucking stupid, like his calamities with the summoning, his summoning is immune and then you enter battle phase, they cannot do anything in the middle of match. You calamity! <laughs> Uh, Q-Belt is like mandatory, this card is insane, sometimes when you do the combo you make this in the main phase and they have some bodies, you need to make this to pop your own uh, trance and to bring it back, so it's like very very good. Then for the other synchros I play the two black roses, uh, this is of course really good, this is for branded or sometimes some sticky monsters. I was thinking about Samurai Destroyer because Melodius uh, uh, puts up a monster that doesn't die unless you specifically make Samurai Destroyer, but with that many end traps and the Kaijus I figured uh, that it's fine if I don't play it. And uh, the last uh, is uh, Meteor Bus. This is so good in the mirror match because if they make you start, uh, you want to end on Seals, and uh, Seals by itself makes like the it FTKs them weird enough. Then I've called by because you go Seal, bounce, uh, like even your card doesn't need to bounce their card, and then you summon a green, and green being back to this, and then you make this in your opponent's battle phase, and they cannot play. So it's really, really good. Okay. And then as already mentioned, Spheres is like best card in the deck. Uh, Striker Dragon to make SP a lot easier. Uh, two uh, Charmers to make the Resilientes of Decay. So as you see, I don't play Trident Dragon because I do not own it and I don't have a friend that wants to borrow it to me. So I just don't play it. You don't need it. Uh, you, there is the Nash combos that explain all the lines. I just think you don't need this pattern because in an entrap build, you're always like preventing five bodies, so you don't need the 3500 monster. Uh, that's it for the side deck. I played the best card. It's Cocky Mirror Dragon because branded. Uh, you just even our drone is insane. Uh, so yeah, I suggest everybody to play this card. Yeah, it's so good. Then two bestials. Uh, I just want to play Magnamut 
but you all, always want to add these against branded instead of uh, engine pieces, so it's fine. Then three nibs. This is for uh, snake eyes mainly and melodious. And that's about it. This car is not that good, but it's fine paired with all the other end shops. Then I play three conscription instead of shifter because I believe shifter is really bad because it's very relevant to, to put uh, stuff in your graveyard also going first in the mirror match uh, I mean, it doesn't matter in the mirror match, it's called, but this also works uh, against the branded dance that like needs to puppet lock you in the main phase you just go, uh, cannot summon from graveyard effects and you cannot TK them sometimes under it so it is also really relevant to not make uh, flamberge summon two bodies so I, I like this over shifter for this reason and then for the going first cards, mainly are free heat wave, called by, and uh, anti spell rivalry. Fair uh, cards. <laughs> this card is a lot better than these, because in the mirror match, when they make you start, you always say this in, regardless if you think they're going first or second. Because even if they floodgate you with this, you just activate your own and it cancel out theirs and you are on the on the adventure because you get an extra turn and you have the battle phase, you don't have the main phase to play so it's, it's stupid, it's very stupid stupid card uh, yeah, that's about it I want to thank uh, and shout out Rocket Hideout and best of luck for my friends in YCS Rio this weekend, see you next time